What's going on, man? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the basement. And today I have a special video for you guys. This is my first ever video where I'm featuring people from the Discord. These are guys that I love. I really appreciate all the support. Everyone that's in my Discord, I love you guys. Everybody that's contributing to the channel, everybody that's showing love past just liking and subscribing. If you have not already and you're watching this video right now and you're seeing this and you're hearing my audio waves, make sure you go down below, top of the Discord, or top of the description, join the Discord, man. We're going to have subscriber leagues in there. If you ever want to be a part of the videos like this, I'm going to be doing mock drafts every single week. I want to get you guys involved in my channel, in this community. I'm going to have mock drafts going, subscriber leagues. This is Dynasty League, Season Long Leagues, everything like that. All of that to the side. I, I love you guys. I can't say it enough. But today we're going to do a rookie draft. Super flex, 10 teamer, PPR. We're going to have some fun. I'm just going to load this thing up and we're going to see what happens, where players are going. I'm not going to really read off my rankings. My rankings are in my Patreon down below. I'm not going to just read off of them. I kind of want to feel out the draft, have some fun with it, kind of see what it's like to be on the clock. You know what I mean? We're in March now. I still haven't done a rookie draft at this point. I don't think anybody has. So I kind of just want to see what it's like to be on the clock and in that kind of mindset. Now, before I keep on rambling, I'm going to tell the boys in the Discord that we're going to start this draft up. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, boys. I'm going to randomize the draft order, and we're going to get going here. All right, we're randomized. We're locked in. Begin draft. Here we go, fellas. The first ever inaugural rookie mock draft on this channel, man. Again, thank you guys so much for the support. Again, this is super flex, so we're going to see Trevor Lawrence go one. You're going to have Najee Harris go two. The sleeper bots, we're doing the best we can. Right now, you know, we're at 500 subscribers. We don't have enough Discord members to fill out a whole draft, you know, so... We're just going to, we'll eat the, the sleeper bots for now and we'll go from there. Now in this spot, super easy for me. In, in my opinion, in a 1QB league, I have Jamar Chase at the 101. I think that he's a stud out of LSU. Love what he's done. I love what he did in college. And I love uh, what he did in college with Justin Jefferson beside him and Terrace Marshall beside him. It, it's insane type of production, the stuff that he's done. I personally, right now, unless of Travis Etienne or Najee Harris blow me away at the combine, I personally have it. Lawrence Fields, then Jamar Chase. I think Jamar Chase is the best position player in this draft. Now we had the CPU go with Najee Harris there. Again, it's sleeper. That's the way things are. You know, we're uh, struggling to keep the lights on here at Ron Stewart uh, Enterprises. You know, the HQ here. But that's just that's just the way it be because you know we're a small channel. We're growing. We're gonna get there. I I, I look. I I believe in the channel. I believe where we're going. So. If you guys can join the Discord, like I said, I would love to get everybody involved in these. And I would love to have enough people to the point where I can just get everyone in one of these. So then we have Trey Lance go off the board. I love him at the 106. Devonta Smith, a little bit higher than I would take him. Javante Williams, definitely a big fan there. Waddle. Pitts at the 110, I think that's fine. Bateman at the 201. Rondo Moore at the 202. That's about as chalky as you can get. I think you could even see Devonta Smith in, in your leagues. You know what I mean? Even like my leagues, not when you have like sleeper botting. Uh... You could even see maybe Devonta Smith in this range. I think some people might even be higher than I am on Jamar Chase in the same way that they are Devonta Smith. So then you get Zach Wilson. I think Zach Wilson at the 203 in a super flex draft, that's crazy value. Even though I'm not super high on him, getting a quarterback there is insane. Then we have a then we have Brevin Jordan. A little bit sus from the 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 Discord or the uh the sleeper bot. But you're also going to have bots in your league, you know, literal, literal bots that don't really know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? Don't consume the Ron Stewart channel content, aren't getting steered in the right direction. To, to me personally, I'm not really taking a tight end that high. Then we have Jamar Jefferson going at the 205. Real ones know that Jamar Jefferson is a goat. I put a video out on him uh, like a week ago. Jamar Jefferson, next cam makers. I love him. He's my RB4 in this class. And here I have a really interesting decision. But actually not that interesting because I think I, I'm going to put out a video on him very soon. But I personally have Terrace Marshall as like my wide receiver four. I would probably take Terrace Marshall in this range. When you look at Terrace Marshall's profile and what he did at LSU, it's just again with the, those LSU receivers, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, GOAT. Terrace Marshall, he comes out. He still has a crazy year even next to those guys. Then the next year he has, uh, I think, Keaton Booty or something like that. Sus name for sure. But... He's a five-star recruit. He's supposed to be, he's like the the wide receiver one in the 2023 class or 2024 class, whatever it is. He competed with him, dominated every single game that he started alongside, uh, alongside that kid. Every step of the way, Terrace Marshall has showed that he's great. He also came out as a five-star recruit, 6'3", 200 pounds, five-star guy. He has the pedigree. I think that he's just kind of getting forgotten about in drafts because he was that 
forgotten LSU wide receiver. I think if he had gone to another school, like say literally any SEC school, if he if he goes to a Tennessee, if he goes to a Texas, if he goes to um I was gonna say Ohio State, but they already have plenty of guys there. But you guys get what I'm saying. If he goes to an Ole Miss or a Florida or anything like that, I think that he I think that he would be a consensus top five wide receiver. Then we see Diami Brown going at the 301. I don't think we're gonna be seeing that I don't think we're gonna be seeing that uh once we have like real drafts come around. Diami Brown is a guy I've heard that he might be weighing in at 200 pounds. He's at UNC wide receiver super fast. I think he kind of profiles similar to like a Stefan Diggs, a uh, DJ Moore type guy. And it seems like I, I think Marcus Mosier was saying on a uh, player profilers podcast the other day that he could go late first round. So if Diami Brown goes late first round, then you're seeing him over here. Personally, I have him in the tier after Terrace Marshall and these guys. I have him. Yeah, right. I have him like ahead of Amon Ross St. Brown. Like that, that tier with Amon Ross St. Brown and uh man maybe I should have taken Mac Jones there but I don't think so I don't think so I think I was kind of forgetting about quarterbacks a little bit but not so much then we have Diami Brown Amon Ross St. Brown then we have my boy Sting taking Seth Williams I know I know he's a big fan of the channel I know that he knows my love for Seth Williams I'm gonna be coming out with a video on Seth Williams too I'm gonna really break down Seth Williams and why I'm so high on him I have him personally at like the wide receiver seven or eight and a lot of these services out there have him at like wide receiver 12 13 14 15 I think a lot of guys are sleeping on my boy, Seth Williams out of Auburn. Now, our pick is on the clock. A lot of stuff going on here. We have Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore is a dude I really like. It's tough with the sleeper stuff because their rankings are so trash. They're all over the place. I think I definitely have Tamari on Terry. Man, if I'm if I'm looking here, Michael Carter is, is very intriguing. But I think I'd go Tamari on Terry. Tamari, I know that I've gone three straight wide receivers at this point. But Tamari on Terry is a guy that, or no, I kind of wanted to go Elijah Moore there, to be honest with you. I kind of forgot that Elijah Moore was there. These rankings are kind of fucking me up that they're just all over the place. But I'm fine with Tamari on Terry. Tamari on Terry honestly could end up with better draft capital than Elijah Moore. I love Elijah Moore. He's a great slot guy, but Tamari on Terry has insane upside. He's a guy that he's 6'4", he's going to be 215, he's going to run like a 4'3'9", he broke out as a freshman, there's really not much I don't love about his profile, and I guess at this point in the draft, when I locked in two stud wide receivers, at this point, why not swing for upside, I do love Elijah Moore though, to be honest, if I could redo the pick, I'd probably go Elijah Moore, but again, it's early, it is what it is, um, do love Ramondre Stevenson, going to have a video out on Ramondre Stevenson eventually, then we have Michael Carter, Kadarius Toney, Jesus, Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony, honestly, Kadarius Tony is somebody that I don't love, and I'm thinking I'm going to end up moving him up in my rankings purely from draft capital. I think I, have, I think I'm have him too low for just when a guy goes in the first round, he just by nature has a higher probability of hitting. Even though I don't really love Kadarius Tony, when you look at his profile, he didn't break out early. He doesn't have all the like. He didn't break out early. He never really could, like commanded like a thirty percent dominator rating at his school, which is thirty percent of the touchdowns the, the receiving yards wow elijah moore is now still on the clock i'll i'll guarantee you guys that this never happens in one of your guys leagues i'll take elijah moore right there i love him in the slot elijah moore is another guy i think that's getting slept on he's an old miss guy he still produced in the same offense with dawson knox eight i don't know why i said dawson knox first dawson knox probably not the best one to put first he didn't even have a fucking touchdown in college but he did have uh, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, Demarcus Lodge, maybe had Van Jefferson. I'm not sure. And then he also had Dawson Knox. That's probably where Dawson Knox should get listed. But he still broke out as a freshman. He's done it every step of the way. The thing about him is that he profiles as just like a, a straight-up slot receiver. So he's not going to do... His upside is a little bit limited, but I still love his prospect profile. To me, I, I have him in, in this area. I have him... In the same tiers of Diami Brown, Amon Ross St. Brown, I, I have him here. And he probably honestly should have gotten swapped to, to Mario and Terry. It is what it is. But then we got Riley Ferguson. I think that's a weird pick by the bot. Hopefully, this is early, but hopefully in the future with Sleeper, we'll get more accurate rankings. You know what I mean? They're still trying to figure their shit out at this point. They're probably not even really worried about rookie drafts. They're probably just trying to figure out how to get the interface together. Then we finally have Kyle Trask off the board. Uh, Demetri Felton's a very interesting dude. Jarrett Patterson's a very interesting guy. Jarrett Patterson out of Buffalo. He he set some crazy record at Buffalo. 
uh, rushing for like 700 yards across two games. Demetric Felton's supposed to be a guy that's kind of like a Naeem Hines of this class. Then we have Kellen Mond, the Chris Sims sweetheart, if you will. Then we have my pick. Man, are we just going to go five straight wide receivers here? Hmm. Who knows who's still who's still hiding at the, the bottom of the barrel? I might literally just go with another wide receiver, to be honest with you guys. Javion Hawkins is very interesting, but I think I, I really like Anthony Schwartz. Anthony Schwartz is a guy that was alongside Seth Williams. He apparently is like an Olympic Olympic track runner. I've heard that he could run something in the the four twos, maybe even faster than Henry Ruggs, maybe even like sort of compete with Chris Johnson. We do hear that every year though, but he's insanely fast. He has rushing yards, he has kick return upside, which we want. We want dynamic receivers that command the ball early, you know, hang their fucking nuts on the coach's game plan and say, hey, give me the fucking ball, give me the fucking rock, you know? So Anthony Schwartz, a very interesting guy. Weird that Kyle Trask went after Jamie Newman, but I mean, if you have the idea that maybe Jamie Newman will be a mobile quarterback as a like a post to Kyle Trask kind of like pocket guy, whatever. Elijah Mitchell's a guy I really fucking like. Elijah Mitchell is like a an all purpose back. He he was he has that like Ryan Matthews type size. I really like what he did in college. And then that's the draft, fellas. So let me know down in the comments who you guys think won the draft, man uh i'll just i'll break down a couple more picks i feel like that was like super quick but i mean that's just what happens with a five round mock this is gonna be like a shorter video usually i'm kind of used to hopping on the mic for these mock drafts and really sitting here for like fucking 50 minutes on them but it's nice to have kind of like a breath of fresh air with these rookie mocks you know i'm gonna, i'm definitely going to do more but as as i said before if you guys see this and you're watching this right now go down below subscribe leave a like and join the discord i would i, I really want to interact with this community i really want to not only just have you guys in discord but like i want to talk to you guys i want to i want to get to know who you guys are what your interests are who's your favorite team you know and actually like sort of talk and have conversations with you guys about these players because any insight any uh knowledge i can gain from you guys it just makes me a better i, I don't want to say analyst but like sports content creator you know it, it makes me more informed it gives me uh different angles to look at these players at and then I'll say from this last round, my favorite pick here is Hunter Long. Uh, I'll probably end up changing it after the combine and draft capital, but right now he's my tight end one. I have him at tight end one. He's out of Boston College. Apparently he run, he's like 6'5", like 240, runs like a, a 4'6", He looks like an athletic freak. Same with Brevin Jordan though. But I think Hunter Long is going to be like a, a discount tight end you can get in this draft. Oh, <laughs> I didn't, I did not mean to do that. Um, Now... If you made it this far, man, I appreciate it. Make sure you go down below, subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord. If you want my dynasty rankings, if you want my rookie rankings, my rookie database, if you want any anything that involves me and my rankings and what I put out, man, make sure you go down below, join the Discord, man. I really appreciate any type of support you guys can give the channel. And as always, you can find me at Ron Stewart underscore on Twitter. I'm going to have plenty more videos to come in these coming weeks with the, the NFL draft coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody in the world fucking hates the Lakers <laughs> And then everybody wanna sip to the juice bill, everybody wanna bid And then everybody wanna dip, told you I ain't worried, I ain't scared of the boot All you can do is spit a verse of the truth, merge a mixture with the carrot